Maybe. That's right. That's right. Good afternoon and welcome. I am Grizzly. Also known as Grizz. Maybe I should be known as Grizz Grizzly. Kind of like a nod to Stick Stickly from the 90s. Right to me, Grizz Grizzly, P.O. Box 963, New York City, New York State, 10108. Except I don't live in New York. But in any case, good evening to... Uh, good evening, if it's evening time, I guess, but uh, right now, good afternoon to you and yours. I am Grizzly. This is a year of gaming where I play through, casually speaking, as many games as I can throughout the year of 2021. And here we are with Undertale, game number 38, I believe. And you know what? Uh, I have a couple of hours before I have to be offline, so let's go for it. Let's do the... Uh, we're in the pa we're in the pacifist run now, and I finished uh, the date with Papyrus yesterday. I should say, well, about twelve hours ago, roughly twelve thirteen hours ago. And so now it's time to make nice with Undyne, and then we're gonna go to the secret lab, and then uh, we'll go confront Asgore one more time. So, uh, with all that in mind, let's go. It's time. Uh, to hang out with Undyne. Oh-ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Okay! Stand behind me! Psst! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two... Come in. <laughs> the virus is stoked. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you, on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So are you ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> oh. So why are you here? Show me your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How <laughs> delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams! I will never be your friend! Now get out of my house. Dang! What a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you! But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Sit down and progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Undyne. <laughs> Slut of me. Sword. Acquired taste. Fridge full of food. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Sugar goes in tea. Undyne. I'm going to select the sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! All 
are you hitting on me? <laughs> that sugar's for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spheres? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes. What? Really? That rules! Okay. We'll go with tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Oh boy. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You, you're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. <laughs> I'm afraid we're going to be best friends. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Nah! Wow. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Nah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder! 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 Ah, uh, let me do it. <laughs> Ooh, that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. 
Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hotter. Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... Whoops. Ah, uh, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride! Now oh, come on, hit me with all you got! Yeah! Huh. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. There we go. One. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking a full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharine stick. Shtick! Saccharine. Your saccharine shtick. The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh! And if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait! This is sudden, but... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you. But he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here. Just just take it. You got the Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it! Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see ya! Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> okay, so that is uh, Undyne's whole dealio. Uh, now we're going to go back to Snowden real quick, because I have a key to use. Oh yeah, the dog boat's here. Tra-la-la, care for a ride. We're going to go to Snowden. Very normal boat, doing normal boat things. What lore have you got today, boatman? Tra la la! Uh oh. Suddenly feeling tropical. Okay. Come again sometime. Tra la la! Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. no. We're going to go... I think this key is for the garage. I think. Hello, that's not my house. That's just my cool tool shed. Do you call it your cool shed? No, I've never thought of that. That's why we're friends, Undyne. You enrich my life with shed-based puns. That's the only one I've ever made, dude. Use the mystery key, but nothing happened. Oh. Well, shoot. Uh, does the mystery key work here? Okay. 
Just had to check. I think it's... I know it's for a specific house. Maybe it was back in Waterfall. So I'll check one more and then I will go to Hotland. Trolla! Come on, give me lore. Give me lore. Give me the good lore. Did you ever hear the old song coming from the sea? Considering we're underground, there's no sea. Alright. Uh, let's go... Here. It's locked. Here we go. This is the mystery key. The Red House's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Okay. Uh... Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Dearer Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. Well, he was just Bluki and I. Bluki asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal, too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. And she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Dear Diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Baluki, my dreams can't wait for anyone. So... So that key... Oh, can I... I want to check out the TV, but I can't. But uh, basically, it's heavily implied that this is Metaton's house. All right, so let's go to Hotland. That's not the way to Hotland. Uh, we can buy a couple more things. We got some gold left. Why not? There. We'll use that for the final fight that's coming up. Oh, no, no, not snowed, and I want to go to Hotland. Eh, oh, well. That means we can just get some more lore with, uh, with Riverman. The waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Is it? Okay. Uh, we're going to go to Hotland. There we go. The angel is coming. Oh, <laughs> what? Interesting. I think that's related to the final boss fight. All right. Let's go back to the lab. Let's slide the letter under. Huh. Oh no, is that another letter? Well, I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's sh kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. 
Jesus. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god? Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you even wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less some... This? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Uh, dating starts. Question mark? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That only increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But! I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh... Oh, uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Uh, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's let's uh, date. Okay. And anytime. Anytime. Uh, do you like anime? Yes, of course I do. Hey, me too. Hey, let's let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Sure. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really uh Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, uh, oh no. Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? <laughs> Haven't you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm, I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun going like a cute kind of pretend date with you to, to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse than I put it like that. I, I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's a person I, um, really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, uh, uh, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident, and strong, and funny, and I'm just a nobody. Fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies she thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> oh, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I, I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. A roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. Th thanks! You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to um talk to you about something. Then she kisses you. What?! Undyne would never, uh... I kiss her back, softly. 
I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering! I'm dying! I love you! I'm dying! Kiss me again! I'm dying! What did you just say? Uh, I'm dying! I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes! I mean, uh, no! I mean, we, we were, but... I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. Uh, what? I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm dying. I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas that time I- Alphys, I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Harsh. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. I'm dying. You, you're gonna train me? <laughs> She's got the hard eyes. That's hilarious. I love it. What me? <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog a hundred laps. Hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, I'm dying. I'll do my best. <laughs> Oh my god, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Okay, getting a screenshot of this, I love this. Anime is real. The answer to this is always, anime is real. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Alright. Now we have one place left to go. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, you're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early, so I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Yep, that's the plan. That's where, that's where we're gonna go. Three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna get one more item. Could be another crab apple. There we go. So that way we're full up. Yeah. We made the snowman piece the snowman happy once. We're gonna do it one more time. Okay, we're gonna go to Hotland. And we're gonna to go to the secret lab. Tra la la. Hmm. I should have worn a few million more pairs of pens today. Alright, well. 
Thanks, boat guy. Was hoping you'd say something about Gaster, but that's okay. Let's go back to the lab. gonna go to warning 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 elevator losing power low warning warning M tether stability lost altitude dropping all right it's gonna get a little creepy here but it's okay we have determination Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this, solar, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we have to use what we have now, the souls of monsters. Entry three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host, and unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five, I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination. Buy chips for 25 gold? No. Uh, we don't need that. There's no to the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Okay. We're going to go to the left. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Uh, yeah. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? You turn on the sink. You turn on another sink. You turn on the sink. Oh, hello. Something drew near. Uh, you take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. But nobody came. You'll be with us shortly. Come join the fun. Laura Mipsum Dossett. Be seeing you. like it doesn't care anymore. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. Okay. There's no on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Okay, I know that you can barely see me on camera, but I feel like with the atmosphere of this... Uh, this laboratory, that's okay. But I'm going to be getting up for a, uh, for a hydration break in a minute, so... Well, not in a minute. Once we're done with the lab, then I'll turn the lights on. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. 
It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Yeah, we're gonna lie in it. Are you going to tooch? No toochy. Aw. Tucking me in. Thanks, amalgamation. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yes. Yellow key. Woot woot. The bedroom. The clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I think they were goners? Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it? I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. No, 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 no! Long hallway for a shower. Okay, only need one more key. Ah, uh, under sheets. That's all you can read. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Alice Gore's watched them. I don't think he should. Will you watch one? Yeah, let's watch uh, tape number one. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Oh boy. Hello. It smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Very normal. Uh, let's cry. You cried as long as you could, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell. Lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Stay here with me. Okay. Uh, he called for help. That's what they all say. Hum? You hum a familiar tune, Lemon Red's Body Shakes. One of these is gonna be what it wants to hear. Flex. You flex your arm. Lemon Red seems to remember something. I felt this before. There we go. 
The DT extraction machine status inactive. The determination extraction machine. Oh, uh. Curtain. That's all you could read. It's some sort of cold rectangular object. There's something here. It feels like a tree ripe with delicious fruit. There's something here. Here, there's our buddy Wingdings Gaster. There's something here, something in the shape of a man. Feels warm and moist. the room to clear the fog. There's something here. It feels like it's breathing. Get that room on Foggy. Undertale, Secret Lab, Foggy Room. In the True Lab's Foggy Room, you can find certain things if you poke around enough. Okay, so I gotta find a switch in this room. Thought so. Uh... Head west and you'll end up in a room full of fridges. Look at them all and head for the door at the far end. There's a... Let's get all the way to the end, at least. Okay, I turn the switch on. So the it's too dark to see near the walls means that there are entries here. Maybe I gotta come back to this room.
Well, let's keep moving. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Yeah, we're going to press. There we go. They'll probably clear up that room on the other end. Hello. It's the amalgamate. We're going to pet it. You just pet the air. You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Hovering close, looking for affection. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls? Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. You throw the weapon into the corner of the room. The Amalgamate brings it back to you, proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Convulsions intensify. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Endogeny is contained. Contented. Okay. I need to grab a bag of chips on my way out. Okay, so that switch should clear up the room on the far end. Please? Yes. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's empty. Aha. It's so cold. So that's an amalgamation of a of the drake and the vegetables. It's all a joke. Until the bad pun about snow, her expression starts to shift. <laughs> I remember. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow, her expression changes more. <laughs> Thank you. She's completely calmed down. You won. All right. There's the last key. It's empty. Of course, the shaking refrigerator is empty. Why would it? Why would it be? Why wouldn't it be? Okay, we have all the keys. Just gotta find the blue switch, which I'm pretty sure I know where it is. But we are going to head back to the vending machine by the elevator. Oh, 
<laughs> what is it? Papato chips. Very good. Save. It's been. There we go. It's just a regular suspicious bed now. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. Doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Alright. Uh, we are going to... Mystify. Did something mysterious. Recognizes it as more to learn from this world. Wow. That was something. Uh, let's pray. Remembers its conscience. Wash your hands, nothing happened. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, hum. No one heard you. And pick on. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Courage! are in. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Okay, well, we'll just keep going then. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Oh yeah, we're turning it on. Oh hey, amalgamations. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips he had, and... Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. <laughs> I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, hi. I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. 
Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now, I, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. And there we go. And that's the true lab. Entry number eight. I have chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder. Why does not something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry 18. The flower's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. Grizz? Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Grizz, see you soon. Alright, let's go. And with that, I'm going to take a quick... Hydration station break and turn on the lights. Okay. So the elevator has yeeted us all the way to the castle. So there's nothing left to do. That was the catalyst for going to the end of the pacifist route. <coughs> <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. Though I don't say I necessarily recognize this part, but that's okay. Or that. Oh, wait, now I do. Let's check this real quick. And yes, the music not playing is very deliberate. Despite everything, it's still you. Uh, yeah, there's that. Room under renovations. Okay. I think I could have taken the elevator as a shortcut. It's fine. It's perfectly all right. <clears throat> all right. 
This should be the... Oh no, I looped back! Oh god. Okay. Damn it. So I didn't have to go all the way that way. Uh, I think I probably... I think I did this the first time. I'm supposed to go down. There we go. Yeah, it was right there in front of me. Oh well. No sands this time. Interesting. I'll check on the caskets real quick. Alright, I think the save points are gone, actually. Oh, except that one. Okay. <clears throat> this is the barrier. This is what keeps us all... <laughs> oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. What keeps us all trapped underground. <clears throat> if, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What a twist! <clears throat> What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Ah, Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. H hey, uh, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst, hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey, guys, what's up? 
That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, I just get to know a really cute fish? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he, he's right. Let's do it! Well, uh, I, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. But wait, not in front of the human. Uh, right, so sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while, but looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? You idiots. While you guys are having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are going to be mine, too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spend listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them, without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> uh, huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. <laughs> you. I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you a million times. <laughs> <clears throat> what? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything! Hi, Ply, thank you for the follow. So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't been this guy yet? Come on! This weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but, but somehow I know you can do it. Human for the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. All monsters cheering in. You gotta win! You can do it! Ribbit. Uh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... you! I can't believe 
year old? So stupid. All of your souls are mine! Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Grizz, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel Dreamer. It's the end. All right, we're gonna... <sighs> this music, though. Hopes and dreams. We're gonna hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Now we're gonna dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Oh man, I only took like one hit from that. That was great. Asriel charges Shocker Breaker. Uh, we're gonna hope. Damage reduced. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Moving? Hi, Ply. How could you do that to me? I gotta tank it? Alright, I'm tanking. I'm tanking. So let's, let's say one minute will be like three turns worth. I waited so long to type. <laughs> well, it's worth it. Let, let's, see, let's see what I can do, huh? So I'm going to have to tank it. Uh, let's take a CT. My speed boosts. I can't do a thing about it. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so that's one. Let's take another CT. All your progress. Everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Okay. We're gonna do one more. Star blazing. Oh shit, okay. Uh, let's eat some chips. Then we can do everything all over again. Okay. Uh, okay, I actually do need to heal, like, for real. So we're going to eat the hot dog? And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. It looks like you already finished the game once. Yep, uh, I did the neutral ending, and now we're doing the pacifist ending. Uh, we're gonna... Dream. Your items fill up with dreams. And then you lose to me again. again. If you didn't just pick dreams to get melee items. Yep. And again. Okay. Last. No! <laughs> Sorry, snowman. <laughs> You're not making it to the pacifist ending. I did not mean to eat him. 
Uh, try to stay alive. Yep, that's the goal. Fucked up so hard because my inventory was full of dog residue on this way. Oh god, I can't even imagine. Alright, we are going to hope. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. Darn dog residue. Because you want a happy ending. I sure do. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Okay. Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. Because you love your friends. Because you never give up. Ouchie. Let's eat some crab apples. To be honest, I ate the snowman too. <laughs> Beat him without healing on one try. That's awesome, Highfly. Uh, this is the third time I'm doing a pacifist run. Not on this save file, the second time on this save file. But, uh,. Yeah, first time I died a few times, then the second time I died a couple. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Okay, we're gonna dream. Come on. Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Uh-oh. Well, even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. Don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see how good your determination is against this. Asriel blocks the way. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! The whole world is ending. Every two weeks I try like five times and give up. Still didn't beat Sans. Hey, it's all good, High Ply. I have done the genocide route once and uh, with my friend Henry, and we only... We, we couldn't beat Sans either, so we just... We were playing on PC, so we just modified the game file so we could uh, have, like, 10,000 HP. Because we just wanted to see the ending. So, but, no, I'm with you. I have never beaten Sans myself. Also, uh... I kind of don't want to. I don't want to do the genocide route. I feel pretty gross <laughs> after doing it. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Oh, I can only act. Okay. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Oh, there it is. I got hit. Did you play Deltarune? I played Chapter 1, and I'm going to be playing... And now that was a while ago. Uh, like, like a year ago. And now that Chapter 2 is out, I'm going to replay Chapter 1 and then play Chapter 2. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. Alright. You reached out to Asriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? 
Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die! You asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. Chapter 2 has a genocide run. Okay. Interesting. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're a real enemy. I remember, like, we tried... Henry and I tried doing a pacifist run of Chapter 1, and it didn't matter. So that's interesting that now it does matter. Uh, did not beat Jevil on Chapter 1. We didn't know about Jevil, actually. He gave the Lost Soul a big smile like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Okay. Uh, Papyrus. The Lost Souls appeared. I must capture a human! Just give up, I did. Uh, let's... Puzzle. Ask the lost soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will... Why even try? Uh... Oh, you beat him. That's awesome. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of the fight on YouTube. And of course, all the, you know, the lore surrounding Devil. I never see him again. I told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. Okay. Let's do a joke. Suddenly. The memories are flooding back. No, oh, wait, you're my friend! I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Alright, uh... Tutorial? The lost souls appeared. You hug the lost soul and tell her you're gonna see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. message in just a sec, I play. I play Undertale on my Switch because I don't have a PC and console you can't cheat. It's very true. Very true. Uh, I bought Undertale for the Switch uh, mainly, as you can see, uh, because uh, I wanted the Collector's Edition, so I got that with like the, the Heart Locket. But that plays music. Some of us is so familiar to him. gonna save everyone. Something stirs within him. It's all flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Feel something strongly resonating within Asriel. Okay. Save Elphys. Nerd out. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? You'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said it is familiar to her. I gotta keep lying. Quiz. He asked the lost soul for help in a quiz question. Suddenly memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Uh, do you have Smash and online? Maybe we can play one of you on good or other games together. Uh, maybe. Uh, I 
have Smash. I haven't played it in a really long time. I'm talking like probably a year at this point. But uh, uh, you keep stopping by and saying hi, and uh, and uh, and we'll see. But uh, uh, for today, at least, uh, it's going to be. I'm going to be finishing this pacifist run, and then. Uh, and then I gotta go. I have a procedure I gotta prepare for tomorrow, so. Uh, but, uh. But yeah, I'm not opposed to it eventually. Eventually. Gotta get to know you first. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly. You haven't played Smash in year two? <laughs> Alright. Use a GameCube controller for that? Uh, that's That's been my go-to since Melee. Suddenly you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? your friend's souls resonating within Asriel. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No! No! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! I am doing this. Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Gris. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. You can't get hurt if you want to, though. No, that's not just it. I used to use Joy-Cons, but Switch Pro Controller since August, and muscle memory is also gone. Yeah, I've tried Joy-Cons, Pro Controllers, even the 3DS, like for the Wii U version, we could do the crossplay, but Cube Controller is, I'm just too used to that. I'm doing this because I care about you, Grizz. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Stop doing this! And just let me win! Stop it! Stop it now! Grizz, I, I, my 3DS is modded, so I don't think we should play together. <laughs> hey, I also have a modded 3DS. I hear you. I haven't played, I haven't played it in a long time, but I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Grizz? I know. You're not actually Grizz, are you? Grizz has been gone for a long time. Um, what... What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk, I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only, not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much, and... They care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Pyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. 
Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. <laughs> bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. We're gonna forgive. What? Frisk, come on. You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. And the barrier is gone. Or destroyed. Whatever. Gone, destroyed, whatever. Alright, now for the most wholesome part of the game. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls. I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Got comfort. Ah. Pat, Pat. There, there. I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? Uh, what games do I have on my Switch? Uh, a lot. Uh... Yeah, I can do a, a really quick overview, but, uh, like, I have a really, I have a super hard stop at 545, so, if I can finish this game by then, which I should be able to. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Most of my games are physical. Uh, when I bought the Switch, that was the only next-gen console I had, so... Frisk! This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. But uh, you'll be able to see what I do have. And the majority of them are physical. Oh, you were awake, thank goodness. We were so worried, it, it felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What'd you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though... From what I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. Seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. Nah, I'm ready. I've done this so many times. If you leave here, adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. If you haven't done it, it's worth going all the way back to the beginning, because then you can talk to Asriel one more time. But I've already done that. 
Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice. The air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sands! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Who are we? I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for uh, hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, I do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk? You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you, I have places to go. I'll stay with her. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now come along. Everyone is waiting for us. All right. I've always been curious as to what that building is in the back. And if that mountain top is the mountain from the start. So this will show me the yellow text means that I spared them. So we'll see if I missed any. I'm pretty sure I missed a couple. Popular nutritionist casually enjoys life. Spooky DJ. Yeah. <clears throat> By Toby and Tammy. Sans is, ex <laughs> Sans is by Toby. That's fantastic. I know that Temi helped out a lot of the characters, but it's, it's cool to see, like, original, like, Toby-insisted creations. Let's see, who did I miss? I missed Ice Cap. I don't think I ever encountered Ice Cap. So that's one enemy I missed. Dogami and Dogaressa by Toby. Finally, number one knows Nuzzle Champions. You spared everyone. Nice. Yeah, so far that's one I missed. I also missed Lesser Dog. Probably never... The ones that I missed are probably the ones that I didn't encounter. Aww. <laughs> Aaron by Temi reluctantly <laughs> I got him to spare god damn it still flexing oh, yeah, yeah. that doesn't count I absolutely got him to uh, to be spared mad dummy hmm oh well Metaton by Toby. Oh, yes.
Monsoon Dead Plane finally confesses. What? I don't! <laughs> I know I got these. Yep, Spider Success with a new bakery, candle in the world's largest birthday cake. Royal Guards, of course. Domineering Glasses Seller. <laughs> Amalgamates? Yeah, of course, they're all living with their families. Oh no, it's a different mountain. Okay. So this one just has a round top and the one in the earlier on had a pointed. Not quite the end, we got staff to show. <clears throat> think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm just gonna take them all. I'm just gonna leave it be so I can give my review of this game. Now, with the Year of Gaming project, I always review every game that I play. And this is game number 38, Undertale. Uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time top five games period and also one of the top games that I think anybody who plays video games or is interested in playing video games should play this game is it hits so many notes perfectly on making an excellent game not only is this like an inversion of the RPG it is also a regular RPG there's different you know, there's different avenues you can take. You can choose to fight people. You can choose not to fight people, and you can spare them. Uh, the design is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, all the characters, the backgrounds, excellent use of the color palettes. The writing is uh, absolutely outstanding. Uh, excellent, excellent humor. The music, however, is the best part. There are so many uses of layout motifs in throughout this entire soundtrack that it does an incredible job of, inv of invoking emotions uh, throughout your gameplay. On a scale of 1 to 10, easily 10 out of 10. Yep. Agreed. Absolute 10 out of 10. So, I'm just going to let that go. You know, you'd think... Yeah, there's all the credits I was forced to touch. I know somebody's done it without touching a single one, but... Thanks to friends and family for supporting us, and Undertale team thanks you, the player. From the bottom of our hearts, without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Until, of course, Deltarune. Alrighty... Get back to the title screen. Oh, there we go. Yep. So this is the second pacifist run I've done on this save file. Never did a genocide run, so it's just two straight pacifist routes, and I don't think you get anything for that. So I noticed even Flowey wasn't particularly confused about it. He remembers when you kill, but not when you're nice to everybody. The end. Okay. So I think I have to close out of the game. So that's what we'll do. Alright, so that was game number 38. Game number 39 
I'm thinking about breaking out the Xbox 360 for this because I have a new, I have a, uh, a copy of Lollipop Chainsaw that I've been meaning to play. Of course, that means I got to break out the 360 because they won't update it for the Series X, which is dumb. They won't update it for the Xbox One either. So, all right. So as promised, high ply. Uh, this is what I have for a software library. Like I said, majority of these are physical. So. Uh, <clears throat> with a couple of omissions just because I haven't plugged them into the console yet. So I have Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 1 and 2. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, Delta Rune Chapters 1 and 2. Uh, haven't gotten through Donut County yet. Played Dream Daddy. Uh, haven't beaten Enter the Gungeon yet. That's a tough one. Uh, haven't started going under, but it's on my to-do list. Uh, let's see, yeah, Final Fantasy VII is good. I uh, tried 10 and 10 2, couldn't get into it. Uh, Guts and Glory is fantastic. Uh, Hollow Knight, yeah, you can see, you know, with the, whether it's the cloud or the, the dashed box, you can tell if it's physical or not. But I have the physical copy of Gris, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I keep my demos. Hyrule Warriors was not, it, it didn't do anything for me. I did not like it. Night in the Woods, absolutely loved. Still waiting on a physical release for that limited run games. I think enough time has passed, and they're starting to, you know, announce news for the game again. So let's let's get this game into more people's hands, because it's a good game. I uh, got Kamiko for free. Journey of the Broken Circle is very good. Indivisible is such a letdown. Beautiful art. Excellent music. And the story is just utter trash. Gameplay wasn't thought out either. Let's see, Pac-Man 99, yeah, Paper Mario, Poi I never played through, uh, Scott Pilgrim, of course, got the physical version of that coming, on, coming in, Sayonara Wild Hearts, one of my favorite games of all time, did not like Salt and Sanctuary, felt like a Flash version of Dark Souls, and I was just not into it. I have all the Shantae games, but I've only played Pirate's Curse on the Switch, but I will be fixing that eventually. I have the Fractured But Whole game, but they never did a physical release of the Stick of Truth, which is annoying. Uh, tch -tch. Still have Mario Brothers 35. I don't have the heart to get rid of it. Then Dark Side Detective I have the physical edition for. I had the physical for Skyrim. Uh, what the Golf is on here. And of course, Undertale. Tonight we riot. Uh, this ukulele sucks. Ukulele Impossible Layer is good. Yoshi's Crafted Worlds, all right, but yeah. So that's my game library for the most part. There's still some, like I said, some games in here that aren't in here yet. Uh, Bloodstained Crystal Moon 2, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, uh, at least one or two others, uh, and the other four Shantae games. And like I said, one or two others, so yeah, that's my game library. Oh, yeah, and yeah, Pokemon Unite, I guess, but whatever. So, okay, well, that's game number 38. How much money do you have? <laughs> I mean, I've had this system since 2017, you know, and I, uh, I, this game, is, I mean, this system is a hobby of mine, so I have a lot of, you know, uh, I pick up games for it over time, sell some, and that's just how it works. So, uh, but, yeah. Yeah, DDLC is a great game. Not very good for streaming, but it's a very good game. All right, uh, I have to go. Uh, hi, Ply. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Hope to see you again uh, streaming in the future. Uh, I will probably be online again Tuesday night. That's usually when I play with Henry. Uh, we're going to be working on... I think we're going to be working on the Scott Pilgrim game. He wants to get into that uh, and do online. And uh, Tuesdays with Henry are a exclusively t uh, Henry and I kind of thing. Uh, and uh, that's because we had an incident with uh, someone who invaded our Discord chat and completely derailed a playthrough of Borderlands 2. So uh, it's just uh, just Henry and I on Tuesdays. But other days, other days are different. So um, I'll be back Tuesday. We'll know when to do. We'll know what game we're doing at that point. So yeah, uh, <laughs> peace, bro. Thanks, Highfly. Uh, have a good evening. Stay hydrated. Watch for deer. And uh, to anybody else watching or lurking or even watching this in the future on YouTube, thanks for watching. And until next time, folks, do take care.